channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about my top five beginner uh, start off patterns if you've never tried any indie patterns before. So my number five, I have chosen this one because it is beginner friendly in the fact that there are so many tutorials within this company to teach you everything that you need to know to make this, but it's more of a confident beginner piece. I think mainly because of the ruffles um, and just it's a little bit fiddlier than some other things. So. What am, what am I talking about? It is called the Peony Patterns Poppy Dress. Now this is the baby poppy. I do believe you can get it in a teenagers as well. So this is from like newborn to I think four or six, I actually can't remember. But it comes in a dress, a top, a different style look with a two tier and a romper as well. Fantastic value for it. So I highly recommend this one, but it's more of a confident beginner, I would feel. I have a whole couple of videos actually on this one. So if you'd like to know more about it, head over to that one. And that was when I first started using this one. So that was more my first impressions kind of video. Whereas this one now I am so confident with, I will be making more and more of these in no time and this is actually the one that I made for my daughter Lila who is the other half of the Brunchy Girls. Uh, I made it for her birthday just the other day. So that's why I've been a little bit MIA as well um, from YouTube as well because yeah been a bit busy. So my number four is actually one I haven't sewn yet. I have it on my to-do list and I have it printed and ready to go and I have read the instructions but it's actually not one I have actually physically sewn yet. So I can't show you it, but I will put a little lines drawing in here for you so you can see what I'm talking about. It is called the Nappy Covers from Tada Patterns. Both the Peony Patterns and the Tada Patterns are actually Australian as well. Love that for us. This is also a woven pattern. So I feel like woven patterns are great for beginners because you don't have to worry about the zigzag stitches or if you've got an overlocker, I mean, knit is great. But yeah, I just feel like this is a great, I feel like wovens are great because they tend to stay where you pin them as well, tend to. So if you pin the heck out of them, you're more than likely gonna get a nice crisp edge. So that's why I also like these ones. The instructions are so detailed, it's fantastic. And I loved that you, if you use it on like an iPad or on your phone, you can actually click on things. So it's got like hyperlinks, they're not called hyperlinks, but they've got like, um, yeah, clickable things. So you can go straight to the tutorials and the photos and stuff like that, which I thought was revolutionary, especially in, this day and age when we are so digitalized. So I like to print the patterns obviously on paper, but then the instructions I like to use on my iPad or my phone or on the laptop, but mostly on the iPad or the phone. So there's four variations. So I think this is great because you can start with the most basic and then you can up, up your ante as you learn more, as you feel more confident, as you wanna challenge yourself. I think that's great. So it comes like with different ruffles and stuff like that little skirt I love them I think it'll be really handy for summer here in especially in Melbourne because we are so up and down with our weather so I think that'll be great so my number three is the summer romper from the Brindile and Twig now I hope I say it right Brindile I say Brindle I say Brindile I, it's a kind of a hard one to know because I've never actually heard it said so it kind of looks like it kind of looks like crocodile to me so that's why I'm saying brindile could be completely wrong the summer romper is one that I spoke about in a previous episode as well that I was going to be sewing for September and I did it I actually finally did something I said I was going to do so I have it here and I will pop up a photo of Lila wearing it as well 
Um, this is a knit pattern. The instructions for these guys I find are fantastic. They are concise, lots of photos, lots of information. It, for me, these have been great patterns to learn from. It's a knit pattern. So I used my overlocker because I'm lucky enough to have one, but not everyone is. So they do say that you can use zigzag stitches and all that sort of thing as well, which I think is fantastic. These guys aren't Australian, but I don't think that really matters because honestly, they are really, really good patterns to begin with. There's nothing too fancy on this. It is literally just a front, a back, some crosses and great to learn some castings as well if you want to learn how to put in uh, ele uh, elastic into the legs and stuff like that. I think this is a fantastic one and I have made two so far and I have plans to make much more, much, much, many more, many, many more. <laughs> All right, my number two is number two because it is so quick so easy it is the pasadena pants from little lizard king again not an australian site uh, australian company but you can't go past a quick easy sew for pants pants aren't e exactly always the easiest thing but these are kind of like a harem style so you've literally got one front one back a band and two little leg bands that's it you can mix and match it is fantastic i've spoken about these before and i've actually been sewing these before on one of my episodes so if you want to have a look go back and have a look at that one but their their instructions are great as well super informative that's what i loved about these two is i didn't have to guess my motivation for actually sewing these was that I wanted something cute but functional as well. Uh, I actually noticed a physio over in WA. She mentioned about different clothes for play aren't exactly always functionable, like dresses, which they are so, are not, so not, especially when they're crawling. So that's why I wanted to make something really, really functional but still super stylish and super cute. And these definitely are great for that. Okay guys, and lastly, my number one is the Brindile and Twig Ringer Tee. I haven't got a physical piece for you. I have made it, but I haven't got a physical piece because I have gifted these. Now this is my number one for a few reasons. First one is because it's free. It's a free pattern. Number two, it is super fast, super easy to sew. And my number three is the instructions again are insanely easy to follow. Also with the ring of tea, it is a knit pattern. So all these patterns are PDF as well, which is so handy because you can just print them off at home and just get straight into them as well. So that's what I also love. That's it from me though, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video because that helps my channel so, so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day.